We weren't sure how to communicate with him. So we was always there to help him and guide him. And she knew right away that he couldn't hear. So she ended up just kind of being his little guide dog. If Pee Wee was sleeping, I would say, Zoe, go wake up your brother. She would honestly just go pounce on his bed. The poor guy never slept much because she was always pouncing on his bed and waking him up. We started teaching him more signs and he learned quickly. He was always constantly watching our hands. If we had anybody over that loved to talk and gesture with their hands a lot, he was always just staring at them intently. He would always think that they were trying to talk to him. We have a family cabin that's only about 30 minutes away, so oftentimes we would load them up in the car. Zoe loved swimming. Zoe would jump right off the dock. Peewee copied Zoe on a lot of things. Zoe was just fearless. She would always run outside in the snow, run outside in the rain, and he realized watching her that it's not so scary. To get in the water or run around in the snow is actually fun. He definitely followed her around and just definitely felt more comfortable in the elements with her around. And then once Zoe passed away, it was definitely heartbreaking. They were basically attached at the hip. He had the most severe separation anxiety. We didn't really leave him alone that much. We actually received a call that there was a deaf puppy that needed a foster home. So we thought about it and we opted to foster her. And then we ended up actually adopting her. And Pee Wee actually taught Faith a lot. Pee Wee finally got over his separation anxiety. It took about six years for him to fully get over his anxiety. I see a lot of Pee Wee in Faith. She gets really excited and she's still a puppy, but she's very calm. She loves to learn. She's constantly watching your hand. And he taught her actually a lot of signs. So signing to him to go potty, she would look at him, look at me, and then she would follow him outside or signing eat. She would always look at him, then look at me, and she would run to the food bowl. Unfortunately, Pee Wee passed away in February 2024, and now Faith was attached to Pee Wee's hip. They were together for just about a year. She was definitely heartbroken. We have a lot of neighbors that have dogs, and we do a lot of play dates, so that seems to keep her spirits up. Faith loves to go on walk. She loves to play fetch, constantly playing fetch. My husband and I just had a baby, and Faith will constantly bring the ball to the baby and expect the baby to throw it. Kind of funny and she just loves to run. We also take her to our cabin. She loves to swim. She's just a busy dog. She's very hyper and she loves to keep busy.